Hi. So here we are finally looking at IV characteristics of real devices. So we'll start with a PN diode. And um, as uh, indicated in the last section, we'll look at the various devices under certain criteria. We always start out in equilibrium, then we migrate to uh, DC, and then we'll explore other um, uh, characteristics such as small signal response or large signal response. But let's go in into the PN diode under DC bias. Uh, so first of all, we start out with uh, drawing the band diagram, of course, and then we'll derive the forward bias uh, formula. And then we'll look at some nonlinear uh, behavior of the device in the forward bias regime, and then look at some uh, non-ideal effects. All right, so from the very basics, what's a diode? Well. A diode in forward bias uh, conducts current very well. So the holes in this case are flowing very well throughout the device and uh, a high current is flowing. The current is so high that we chart it usually on the logarithmic scale. Now in reverse bias, the reverse is true. There is almost no current flowing. Current does not flow easily. All right, so the number of carriers making it through the structure is very small. And we'll go in and try to understand this in a semiconductor diode. The diode we consider is a PN diode. And uh, as I mentioned, the current goes on as a function of applied voltage exponentially. So we usually plot the log of the current. What's going on up under the hood? You have a bunch of electrons that are sitting on the N side and a bunch of holes sitting on the P side. And the voltage is applied such that there's a lot of electrons uh, flowing from one side to the other and a bunch of holes flowing from the left to the right in this case. Okay. In reverse, bias the um, current is relatively small, very small. Ideally, it's uh, negligibly small and what is indicated here is that you have a large barrier to the electron flow so most of the electrons are being rejected they're not making it through the structure similar to the holes they're not making it through the structure and there's other mechanisms that allow some carriers to make it through and those are some of the non-idealities that we'll talk about all right in the forward bias direction, there's somewhat of a squiggly line um, uh, indicated on the exponentials. And what this really indicates is that there is a couple of different slopes that this um, exponential takes. And the uh, diodes are being characterized by these different slopes. There are certain quality measurements um, as to their behavior, and they, these slopes reflect back on the uh, internals of the device. So we'll talk about that. In fact, we'll talk about these various regions and uh, in detail on these various regions of performance. So we'll start out with a diffusion limited device where the slope is one. That's the first one we tackle. And then throughout this lecture set, uh, we will migrate through all of these, say, imperfections or, or um, deviations from this ideal diffusion uh, limited behavior that has slope one as indicated here. All right. So we'll start out in this segment uh, with a bandage diagram under bias. So that's just Poisson equation and we're not going to cover yet uh, the current flow. We'll do that in the next segment. Okay. So let's draw a bandage diagram. We've drawn one under zero bias before in the last segment. Uh, what do we take out of this again? Uh, we have a Fermi level that it runs all the way across. So that's how we start draw, uh, um, drawing bandage diagrams. We determine the Fermi level uh, on the uh, end side here by the doping and we'll uh, by that token obtain this conduction bandage here. We'll draw the, fer uh, the valence band edge and determine the fer uh, Fermi level on the uh, p-doped side and uh, begin this, um, this line here. Then we had discussed that um, you um, 
uh, draw in a electron affinity um, uh, to overall obtain a band edge diagram. Since we are looking at a homo junction here, we can just connect the band edge again like this. In the previous segment, we con uh, computed a variety of things, including this built in potential. Um, now, in this structure, under zero bias, in equilibrium, the law of mass action holds. So n times p is ni squared. You can write down a function of electrons and holes as a function of uh, distance x throughout the structure. You have constant Fermi levels, one Fermi level like this, but effectively your intrinsic level um, that is not quite animated right is showing up here. And that one is a function of bias. Uh, sorry, a function of position. Now, uh, one question that might arise, how much built-in potential can you build into a PN junction like that? Well, you can make this distance here small and this distance here small. So very, very high doping that maximizes the built-in potential you can build in. And that means you can, at maximum, have a built-in potential of uh, the band gap. All right. Now, we had computed the depletion region in uh, these PN junctions, and we'll look at the depletion region and the charges um, as a function of bias in the next slides. But let's draw a diagram under applied bias. So we'll start out uh, with a P ground side, uh, um, P side grounded, and what we'll do is we'll apply a voltage to the end side. For a positive voltage, we raise the Fermi level of the uh, electrons up. And what we introduce here now is something called quasi-Fermi levels. There is a quasi-Fermi level for the electrons that reaches across to the extent of the depletion region. And there is a whole quasi-Fermi level that reaches across the P side. And within the re those regions, we assume those quasi-Fermi levels to be flat. Okay, and then we can draw a bandage diagram again. And what we'll see is we now measure the, again, nothing changed in this sense. We measure the conduction bandage from the Fermi function uh, for the electrons and the valence band from the Fermi function for the holes. Uh, now the barrier that we've built in is now being reduced by the applied voltage. So this distance here has become smaller by the applied voltage. So that is how we can begin to see how more electrons can make it over to this side. All right. There will be some effect on the depletion region here. And um, we'll discuss that in the next slide in more detail. Now, for the computation of the electron density throughout the structure, we now have introduced these quasi-Fermi levels for the electrons and for the holes. And the same expressions we had above now uh, are being used, except we substitute a flat Fermi level by a Fermi level that is for the electrons and for the holes in their respective region of, of validity. And the electron density varies now with this exponential as a function of a spatially varying EI. The product between these two is now no longer exactly ni squared. It is multiplied by this exponential of fn minus fp times beta. Beta is, of course, 1 over kt. Okay. Now, that means the exponential includes really the applied bias. That is the difference here of the applied bias, which is Fn minus Fp, okay? So, the, the product of uh, n and p now is gr growing exponentially with the applied bias. So, that'll be a very important feature to walk away from. Now, let's look at um, 
uh, as a reminder from what we had last uh, section, uh, when we had uh, looked at a homojunction and we computed what the depletion region lengths are. We did that for the uh, donor side and the acceptor side and the uh, physical conclusion was that the charge needs to balance between those two regions. So, um, now we have a similar case except the built-in potential is now re uh, being reduced by a positively applied voltage. That means the depletion regions will have to adjust themselves as well. We can carry forward with the math in the same way as what we've done in the last segment. All we're doing is substituting VBI by VBI minus V. That means as we apply a potential, there's a consequence to the uh, uh, extent of these depletion regions. Now let's look at the extent of that and what that does in some detail. So here I have an animation where we start out from a zero applied voltage. We have, um, sorry, I, in this graph P and N got turned around, but uh, what we have is we have charge here and uh, for the uh, acceptors and here's the donor charge that's been exposed and uh, if we squint a lot, a lot these two rectangles have the same uh, area and we had derived a electric field in the system as a function of position and then we had derived an electrostatic potential as a function of bias uh, uh, of, of uh, position. All right now, if we apply a positive bias, we will make this term here smaller. Okay? That'll become less or go down. That means Xn and Xp are becoming smaller. So really what happens is this depletion region is getting smaller. The electric field in that region is also getting smaller and that means the potential rise is getting smaller and the barrier is getting smaller. Okay? So the barrier is getting smaller for the electrons. Now, if we go to the other side, if we make a negative applied voltage, we increase the depletion region lengths. So uh, these regions over here become larger, thicker, and the electric field is rising. And the barrier as a result in the electrostatic potential is rising um, overall, making it harder for electrons to conduct. All right, so let's uh, repeat this and just animate through. So we're now going to zero bias, going to uh, a positive bias going to zero bias again. So this gives you a feeling for how the depletion region is uh, extending or narrowing as a function of bias. And I would uh, suggest that you go on NanoHub and go into uh, the PN Junction Lab and plot as a function of bias these uh, electrostatic potentials, the fields, the, do um, the electron density, etc., and play around to kind of get a feeling for how these uh, depletion regions extend and narrow and what happens to the electric field and to the charges. All right, so we've drawn a bandage diagram with the applied bias. Now we're going to start deriving uh, the simple forward bias formula in the uh, diffusion limit. So I'll see you in the next segment.